Hey, what's your name? Oh, hey, I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Me, Toronto, Canada. Oh, wow. So uh, what year are you here at Loyola Law School? I'm a 1L. <gasps> How fun. Did you take a gap year or did you apply straight from undergrad? Gap is an understatement. <laughs> I took about an 11 year gap. Wow. If you want to call it that. Um, and worked. If you don't mind me asking, what did you work or do during your gap year? <laughs> I work in retail cannabis. I also worked as an executive producer's assistant. So I worked film and television and yeah. Snazzy. Um, so what made you decide law school? <laughs> well, I it started a long time ago. I grew up around lawyers and um, I was hesitant at first. Um, but after a while, I realized that in order to like affect change and the space itself is lacking a lot of women and women of color, particularly, I wanted to be able to, you know, make my seat at the table. Cheers you know I mean? to that. <laughs> I definitely do. And I love that. My next question is, what advice do you have for Canadian law students thinking of applying to a U.S. law school? Uh, definitely prepare beforehand. Reach out to people online. It's going to sound crazy, but reach out to people on LinkedIn who go to whatever prospective law school you want to go to who are actually international students. Um, trust me, it's a lot. It sounds daunting, but it's a lot easier than you think. Even if you reach out to organizations on campus that are international and ask them for like a roster of students that are willing to talk to somebody who's interested in going to their law school. Um, Definitely look into financial things if you need it. Um, law school is expensive. Things like Prodigy or Empower or um, I think it's called Stilt. There's like different uh, financing options for uh, international students, particularly Canadian. Think about what you want to do after law school. So if you want to stay here, know that you know there's options for OPT. There's options for you know getting a TN visa. Um, as a Canadian. Um, I think it also applies to Mexican students as well. Definitely think about like how much it is going to cost you. Um, it is a very big price difference compared to if you go to school in Canada. So look into that. Um, so what field would you go into if not law? If not law, I'd probably go into retail cannabis, um, opening up more stores, or um, I would go or continue in um, entertainment, I'm kind of juggling between the two. Nice. So in Canada, um, in college or undergrad, what, what did you major in? I was a visual and performing arts major, and I knew that I wanted to go into entertainment at the time, so definitely gunning into that. That is so neat. Um, why did you choose Loyola Law School? The reputation. Um, I read up so many things online about the school and the professors and it's a very, very respected school, so I figured, you know what, it's in Los Angeles, that's where I want to be, um, and yeah, it just seemed like the right fit. I love that. So where were you when you found out that you got in? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was in my car, and I was actually on the phone, and I got the email, and I screamed, and my friend thought I had crashed my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did it. Um, I guess on that same note, how did people react when you told them that you got into Loyola Law School? They were shocked because I didn't really tell many people that I was applying to law school. So it came as a very big surprise to pretty much everyone I knew except for the very select few. Right. If you don't mind me asking, where are we right now? Good question. <laughs> we are in front of the bookstore. Ooh, it's Hall. We have some beautiful students all around here, okay? Love it, love it. <laughs> um, so, what's your favorite spot on campus? On campus, I would say the library and the private rooms. I love <laughs> this spot. Um, also, I have another little secret spot in Founders, but I'm not saying it because I don't want everyone to show up there. <laughs> keep it, keep it. It's all yours. Um, so, are you liking law school so far? I love it. Um, it is definitely up and down. I have my days where I'm like, what did I just do? <laughs> and then I have days where I'm like, oh my God, this I'm, I'm so blessed to be here. 
what would you say a typical law student is like? Typical law student. You know what's so funny is that I have not seen a mold or anything of like what a law student is because everyone is so different. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say that they're very hardworking. Um, and, you know, everyone, I guess, is, has that track mind of success and wanting to succeed. So Amazing. Great. On that same note, would you say that there is a stereotype of law students that holds true? Mm, I would say that i don't know that's actually a good question i would say um probably that they're hard working they're smart i will say they're smart <laughs> yay great <laughs> anxious to learn there we go um what was your favorite fall semester class favorite fall semester class i would say probably contracts Ooh. i really like contracts all right. How about now? What's your most exciting? Uh, what class are you most excited about that you're taking right now? I like property law. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. Um, what's your typical class line size? Um, I would say between sixty. Well, it depends on the classes, but around sixty students. Okay, nice. Smaller classes are like thirty or twenty. Are cold calls really scary? <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> the Socratic method is not my friend. Um, but after a while, you realize, you know, you're there to learn and putting yourself on the spot is probably the best thing to do for you. I love that mentality. What were you most scared about when, you know, coming into law school? Um, just a little bit of, um, you know, imposter syndrome was setting in. Um, but biggest fear is just being able to um, deal with law school and all the challenges that come with it and balancing life and doing that and making sure not all your burners are on at once. Everyone has, you have a few burners, they can't all be on on high. <laughs> <laughs> Love that analogy. Tiffany, are you a gunner? See, I didn't know what a gunner was because, you know, Canadian, I don't know, we don't talk about a gunner. I was like, is this military? Um, but um, now that I know what it is, I would say, no, but I am someone who is not afraid to get to know my professors and ask questions and things like that. I do want to know. So being initiative in that. Definitely. Would you say your school is pretty brutally competitive or do your classmates help each other out? Um, I do think it is competitive, but I, I kind of expected that um, from previous law students. I know that law school is competitive because of that harsh curve <laughs> but um yeah it's competitive but it, it pushes you so that's always at least for me it's a good thing right is law school clicky yes <laughs> I, I i'm not even gonna yes it is it is very clicky what's something you know now that you wish you knew before starting law school um what i mean oh i would say Definitely delete all social media. <laughs> There's distractions. I would say just limit all the distractions you have in your life and um, also uh, schedule time to take care of yourself, whether however you decompress. I love that advice. What's something, um, you know, actually, what song do you think describes Loyola Law School? <laughs> Loyola Law School? Um, I haven't even thought about a song that describes Loyola. I could say what describes like law school in general. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, I would say, okay, it's kind of a tie between Kanye West's I Wonder and um, Blessings by Big Sean. Like, mm. it's like that's what I think about when I think of law school. Love it. Um, so, you know, what would you say are your uh, goals for next year? Next year is definitely to, well, once I get, I feel like I'm going to get my wind in my second year because the first year is just like trying to just grasp the concept of being back in school after being gone for so long. Um, but uh, just literally taking time to just bring everything together in all the classes that I've, everything I've learned, just bring it all together and then take time for myself as well. Definitely. Are you doing any extracurriculars now? I am. Ooh, can we hear a little bit about it? I am. I'm a part of BOLSA. Um, that's the Black Law Students, Students Association on campus. Incredible. And um, I'm also a member of the Entertainment and Sports Law Society and the Sports Law Society. 
yeah. Look at you, girl, thriving out here. Oh, and then also, you know, LA County, you know, lawyer board, and then <gasps> um, Black Women Lawyers of Los Angeles. Pop right off, too. pop off, Tiff. Um, <laughs> on that same note, how do you like LA? I know you said you're from Canada. I love it here. I love it. Um, it's hot. There's no snow. I don't have to like heat up my car. I I love it. It's it's great here. Is LA weather always this sunny? No, it is not. <laughs> it is not. But it's still again better than snow and sleet and frozen everything. Yes, most definitely. I know you mentioned uh, your favorite spot. Uh, it was a secret spot in the Founders. Um, but do you like studying at home, or do you like to study in the library? Um, I like to study in the library in my my little room. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's less distraction there, and when I'm at home, I'm more inclined to be like, let me just take a little five minute, minute nap. <laughs> but no, like here, like you have to focus, and obviously the library that's 24 hours. Is um, or part of it's 24 hours, which is really good if you're on that that way to exams. For sure. I feel like the naps can be very uh, scary. They yes. can go downhill very fast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Expeditiously. <Yeah. laughs> um, how much reading do you have per day? Oh my god, it's tons of reading. That And that's another thing I, I kind of expected with law school, is the, the amount of reading that's involved. Um, definitely a lot, a lot of reading, and then rereading, re rereading <laughs> to make sure I really understand. And if I don't, then just write down my questions. Nice. What do you do when you're not studying or rereading or re 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 reading? <laughs> re 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 reading. Um, I am definitely watching HGTV, which hasn't happened in a long time because I've just been so bogged down with school. But um, I like home and gardening, everything, and like interior decor so Ooh. I just do that. Are you uh, an early bird or a night owl? Oh my god a night owl. The mornings are great it's a blessing to wake up but um I'd rather be sleeping. Um on that note are you sleep deprived? <laughs> yes very sleep deprived. I am longing for a nap all the time. <laughs> how much sleep do you get? I would say okay how much I get probably a five hours Ooh. how much it takes me to function <laughs> Probably, I would say, four hours. Wow. I know, it's intense. Um, you know, you're so accomplished and you're thriving out here. My, I had a question. What's the best tip for juggling social life in school? Um, I would say definitely you need to prioritize. And then also, like, as I was saying, you have four burners. You got your family, you got your friends, you work, you got work. You have your health and then you have school and just making sure that you know you can't have them all on high so just prioritize and as much as it's it's important to like see your friends and hang out and party you don't want it to hinder time that you could be taking on like your own health and like doing your yoga like hot yoga is fun for me like <laughs> that and if you like hiking doing that and just taking care of you do you like being in the afternoon section yes I, for the aforementioned reason, I do not like mornings. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get homesick? Yeah, I do. Um, I love Toronto. I feel like I miss my family more, my family, my friends more. Um, but again, I know I'm like, grateful to be here. So, What's your go-to hype song before taking an exam? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I usually don't like to listen to music before exam. Oh, interesting. But if I'm like trying to get hyped for like something that I know I'm gonna have to like speak, which I haven't really had a lot of speaking things for school, I would say like probably I don't know, mm, probably like something mellow, as weird as it sounds, like Lauren Hill or like Party Next Door or like Vintage Boot Weekend. Okay, I'm a little Toronto okay. so like a lot of like <laughs> Toronto music, Drake, um, Kennedy Road, things like that. All right, I dig it. Um, do you think law school is like the LSAT? No, not at all. Not even close. No. I'm sure that's encouraging for a lot of students yes. who have that fear that the LSAT defines how they're going to do in law school. No, it, it's, it's just like a way of thinking, I feel, in my opinion. It's just how you think the thought process. Are you happy here? 
I am. I'm very active. What's it like to be a first stu first year student? Um, intense. Um, it's a lot of work, but um, it's going to pay off. Just always remember, it's going to pay off. There will be sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, there is some today. <laughs> exactly. Luckily, luckily, there is sunshine, and you know, just always think about taking care of yourself. Definitely. Um, what's the social scene here on campus? Um, I I mean, it's it's good. Um, <laughs> it's, it's you sound good. a little hesitant. <laughs> I'm like, it's good. It's good. Um, you definitely have to put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Um, don't be afraid to like approach people and you know get to know people. Um, even though I did say it was a little clicky, but again, you have to put yourself out there. I feel like that's everything in life. You got to put yourself out there. Right. Um, do you law students party? See, here's the thing. I don't, but I do know that there are law students that party because you know what? They deserve it. They deserve it. You know, they work hard. They need to find some outlet. <laughs> right, right. Dance, have a good time, drink a little. Why not? <laughs> I agree. Um, what's the dating culture in law school? You know, I mean, again, I've been out of the scene for 11 years, so I'm coming <laughs> back and a lot of the population here is a lot younger than me. So, right. you know, for me, it's a negative, but um, there are very good looking people here. Um, they're good looking people. Here. I was someone for everybody here. <laughs> I was gonna ask actually one to ten how attractive is your student body? Again, <laughs> I'm not looking but uh, I would say I would say I give it a solid well for oh, we're also in LA too oh my gosh so I give it a so everyone's so cute I would say like an eight or seven. Like, oh, that's generous. Oh my god, I'm so dry. Okay, that sounds so rude. Like, everyone's no, cute. No, everyone's no, cute. you're totally good. Not for too. me, but they look good with someone. You know? I love that. I love that. Um, what's your favorite food st uh, food spot? Maybe near campus or even off campus? Um, I would say I like Portos. Oh my god, the yes, bakery. yes, yes. Um, I would also say there's this like um, it's called Beijing. Beijing something. It's like on Pico La Brea. I okay. Love that area. I love, love, love that food. And um, shrimp and boil crab. I'm like mm. butchering the restaurant's name because I just know where they are <laughs> and I go there and I get my food. But yeah, there's like a crab boil place on um, La Brea and I think it's like in West Hollywood and it's so good. Get it. It's hot and juicy. Very hot and juicy. That sounds really good. <laughs> um, Stephanie, I love your fit today. Thank popping you. off. I was gonna ask, do law students, um, you know, do you have a, do you, like, do you have a need to uh, dress professionally or do people dress casual? I think people are pretty casual. Um, you know, yeah, people are pretty casual. You know, you're not gonna be showing up, you know, looking crazy, but, <laughs> you know, you're casual. I wouldn't say professional, unless there's something that they're going to do specifically, like the court, you can tell they have. Right. Like, something that they're going to be engaging in a more professional kind of like mock setting. For sure. Um, are professors approachable and accessible outside of class? Yeah, you can definitely connect with professors. Um, obviously, there's a like a big, you have to just consider that they have a lot of students as well. So um, right. yeah, just hit them up with an email. Awesome. Tiffany, what are you hoping law school will provide for you in the future? I hope that law school will provide a great experience. Um, definitely, um, both academically, socially, um, opportunity, introduction of a lot of like people and places that I would not have afforded to be had I not gone to law school. And I feel like Loyola is a great place for that. And that's another reason why I chose it was because of the opportunities and the people and the access. Definitely. So, definitely that. I love it. Do you have a legal hero or a legal icon? Um, um I would say, and this is gonna sound so cliche, um, I would say my mom. Oh, That's definitely not hero. cliche. Um, yeah, my mommy. Such a great response. Um, <laughs> my next question is, uh, 
What's the funniest thing you've seen on campus? The funniest thing I've seen? Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I haven't really, I don't know. Had that experience yet, I maybe? I haven't really had that experience of someone having a funny bone. Well, people have funny bones, but like, right. <laughs> like there's not like, it's not Yuck Yuck's comedy club here. Like, <laughs> there are no, funny moments. Sure. There are definitely funny moments. Do you want to take a, a seat really quick? Absolutely. Awesome. Do I? Of course. <laughs> um, awesome. I had a couple more questions. Go for it. Um, so, you know, would you say the majority of your classmates want to change the world or just be rich? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't even judge them because with the price of gas, honey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I would say people here want to evoke change. They, they, they're here for a purpose and their intentions are really good. If you can change one thing about your law school, what would it be? One thing about my law, I would say just having more, like they, they are, and I love the fact that they do have a lot of in, um, incentives and like they look out for diversity, introducing more women again, you know, happy women's month yes um, uh, cheers but, to that and also like um the diverse culture like having people from the latinx community the black community um indigenous communities asian communities um i would say probably more of that um and definitely like more mature students not looking out only for myself and my dating scene but like, <laughs> more students um who are like a little bit older um because they do, I, I do appreciate that they do look out for that. And, and it's right. having the, like that knowledge and being cognizant of that. And that's a great start, so. Definitely. What's the number one tip for success in law school? Um, consistency, 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 consistency. And also um, being able to identify when you need to take a break. Nice. Because you do not want to burn out. I agree. What would you say to someone thinking of applying to law school or thinking of, you know, coming to Loyola Law School right now? Right now, I would say, one, sit down and really think about why you want to be in a law school because it's not a cakewalk. It will be <laughs> challenging. And if you don't have that passion, that like authentic passion, chances are you will not that you won't succeed, but you won't want to be here very long <laughs> because you're not you're not going to want to be here if you're mentally not even like checked in. Um, so definitely evaluate that, and then also um, look out for like resources and like things like mixers or like pre law mixers and scholarships. Be on it, especially if you are like, if you're American, you have so many options. But if you're a foreigner, I'll speak to some foreign students right now. Yeah, please do. Um, definitely look into all the opportunities that you have financially um, and also like opportunities that are here once you do get here um, and what your game plan is after. You, you, do, you do definitely need to consider everything before you nose dive <laughs> right right and you know one last thing is what is something you would tell your past self let me just grab this Ooh, cute yes. little thing thank <laughs> you good looking out um what i would tell my past self like past self from a year ago past self from pre <laughs> any 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 past self whichever um, i would say to my past self about i'll go back to my past self when I first entered a law school, when I was, I was 12 years old. Wow. It was my mom's law class. I would tell my past self, don't be shook by how intimidating the environment is. Um, but you will end up here, even though at the time I did not know that. But you will be here. Take your time and, you know, have fun. Enjoy the ride, girl. <laughs> Tiffany, it was so, so nice meeting you. Any plans for the rest of the day? Class. <laughs> more class, more class, more reading. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? Of, co of course you can. Come <laughs> on, girl, let's go. Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs>